Admitting you were wrong would be a great start. Yes, it would. Right. Baby, I was wrong! Oh. I want to see your sexy body go boom, oh, boom, oh, boom. No. Yeah. We have to talk in private. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey. Today we're going to be reacting to the movie Guess Who with Ashton Kutcher and Bernie Mac. Yes. It is, I believe, a spin-off of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which yes. is a much older movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is funny. It is uh, interesting. It's awkward at times. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be showing a few of those scenes and our reactions to them. Yes, and trying to see, do interracial couples really go through this? Like, is this accurate? How accurate is this? <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into this reaction. Right. Baby, go with moms. I'm better with moms. He's a big guy, right? Scary big. He also has these piercing eyes that just burn right into your soul. Just don't, don't maintain eye contact for a long period of time, at least today, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just relax. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Did you, a um, pure, did clean shaven white. Pigment challenge. Did you tell them that I'm white? I mean, look. I didn't mention it because I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh, it's gonna matter. <laughs> This won't matter. Um, something new. There's a guy at the grocery store that was yes. So like this guy like getting involved Mike in Epps. their conversation. Yeah. You know, Mike Epps is hilarious, by yeah. the way. Yeah. But uh, and there was one in something new where there was a black guy at the checkout like, line. Like listening. Yeah. We're trying to listen <laughs> real cool. Like why y'all so <laughs> yeah. nosy? So when you before you introduced me to your siblings or had me over for dinner, did you tell your people I was black? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Why did you feel the need? I was just just out of oh, curiosity. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because that like they would have never had a black girl around like that before. Really? Even I don't think so. Even Salome. I mean, Salome hung out, but she she was never like someone we were dating. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. She was in the group of friends, but never. You guys never, never like hung out. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, not like that. Yeah. 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 And I certainly, I certainly hadn't brought a black girl home. No, you didn't bring anybody. Well, oh, I hadn't. I mean, nothing serious. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see <clears throat> if, um, if I emphasized that. I think people just started finding out. I don't think I. Yeah. I was like. Yeah. Yeah, your dad was super skeptical. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't any meeting face to face. That is a nervousness I can see uh, interracial people, uh, like couple going through. Like, yeah. oh, what? I mean, what do y'all think? Is it is it is it a good idea to say something or not say something? For my side, at least, I didn't see like the importance of bringing it up or making it like a focal point. So that's interesting. If you fit, if you as an interracial couple watching this. Did you say something to your, you know, your siblings, your parents, like beforehand? Yes, to help prep them. Or um, if you are a family member being, in, if you are that family member who was introduced to <laughs> someone that's interracial, like, would you have preferred they gave you a heads up or right. didn't it matter? You know, I was thinking about um, someone I met that there was information about them that I wish I would have known ahead of time because I wouldn't have maybe like reacted the way I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it kind of made for an awkward moment. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what you're saying. Not a racial thing, but just a, you know, whatever. Yeah. Just some info that, like, had it been, had, like, had it been mentioned ahead of time, it wouldn't have been an awkward moment. So. <laughs> Maybe that was the purpose, to try and see how would they really react. Yeah, but why? Why not? But if, like, if, like, a smooth transition and a relationship is what's important... Why go for shock value? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I hear you. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> Relationship, it be on another level. So, uh, anyway, let's go to the next scene. All right. First Jones, baby. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Man, look at this here, man. I like this, man. Nice, solid, strong grip. Wow, man, that's something else. Listen, you're doing everything you can to make my daughter happy. Oh, no, Dad. Hey, hey, um, hey, 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 sweetheart. Um, you can take that to the front door for me. Don't stand like a statue. Take it to the front door. That's that square with a hole. Look inside, you see furniture. Thank you. Wow. I wish uh, Teresa would have told me you guys were black. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so yeah. I like how how uh, Ashton, what's it, Simon in the movie? Uh huh. Tries to crack a joke to like break the ice. Yeah. <laughs> 
he thinks he's he thinks he's being funny, but it just goes over really bad. <laughs> I could see myself trying to do that. Yeah. And like people don't understand my sense of humor. Right, they don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hilarious. Uh, Not Mike Epps trying to play like he's the um, yeah, mm-hmm. he's the boyfriend. I miss that is too funny. What would you guys do in that situation? What would you have done? If I would have just taken the bags to the door and just let it play out. For really? Second. Oh, you, yeah. You would have just sat there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have tried to see how far that would have gone. <laughs> that is like just like you, too, yeah, yeah. though. I would have maybe like played it up a little more. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe even got in the cab and started, <laughs> started <laughs> back out the drive. <laughs> that is so true. Oh, my gosh. That was... That scene was epic. I loved it. Like, he he just, he doesn't know what to do. Bernie Mac is confused. <laughs> That's a bummer. That is not a fun way to have the first meeting go. Right. Like, Come on, girl. You could have told your parents. Really? I think so. You think you should? I think so. I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it. But so. You think it, or you think it would have just been icy coming home and there would have been just a cold yeah if he if they had known ahead of time like yeah they would or, have been on guard and right okay i see and i feel like you don't it doesn't give as like as simon the chance to kind of actually read the room if you prep people because okay. then they know how to behave yeah i like seeing raw emotions oh, okay because then i'm like okay i know to watch out for you uh-huh. for you and for you like um that's just that's yeah, me yeah. Mm-hmm. but hey Let's go on to the next scene. Right. Well, I'm just trying to figure out why you chose to go this way. <laughs> Don't mind. It's okay. It's okay. My grandmother loved you when she first met you, mm-hmm. but later she said some things. I was like, no. No. What kind of things? Yeah, what kind of things? Why? Why would he say that? Why would he say that? Just no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait, let's keep watching. He's oh got so much to learn. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I love, I mean, I've seen this clip. Uh-huh. I love the grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, man, dude. Okay. Your grandmother, where'd she live? Brooklyn. Why? I just want to know how far I'd have to travel to catch. What was she doing when she said that? Putting on a sheet for the Klan rally? Settle down now. Hand me the butter. Hand me the butter. My grandmother's not a malicious woman. No, she's she's not. A different time. I'm 74 and I come from a different time. You don't hear me calling white folks hunky and flat. (laughs) Cracker. Okay. Okay. Pecklewood. Wonder Bread. Yep. I can tell you this. Last Thanksgiving. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) Just stop, bro. Just stop. They should have just ended there. There's some there's people. Some, there's some yes. people you're never gonna change, no matter how much you want to. Period. Quiet. Period. Silence. That's the rest it. of the meal. Silence. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm like I'm literally like sweating just <laughs> watching it. I'm like stop, stop. <laughs> oh poor it's guy. It's well written. It's it's a well it, written. Movie. It is. It really is. Because <laughs> it really captures the awkwardness of that. Yeah, I can't watch this stuff. It's not right for Bernie <laughs> Meg to keep his dad like going. Go ahead, Dad. Because <laughs> yeah, he already doesn't like the boy. Yeah. So he's I, he's glad he's got someone in his corner. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's true though. I, I have to agree with the grandpa. Like he's seventy something. Yeah, same generation, age. different experience. Just the idea that like he's like, you know, Simon's trying to say, Well, you know, my grandma's from a different time. Yeah, your grandma's from a time when her people mm-hmm. treated his people poorly really poorly so mm-hmm. there's two different viewpoints from the same generation right yeah so, so that, you got to be careful with that you know whole... she's she's from a different era right. nah bro yeah nah <laughs> that's not an excuse doesn't make it right family i said look that's inappropriate and we're not gonna have it mm-hmm. and uh you know i think that's what you gotta do mm-hmm. to change people you, you just gotta attack it one at a time you know? exactly what was the joke excuse me <clears throat> The joke. This whole thing gives me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a mess. <laughs> How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Oh. <laughs> 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 no, stop. 
Why, why don't black people like country music? Because every time they say ho down, they think somebody shot their sister. <laughs> Oh my the three things that a black man can't get. A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. It's too tense. What a mess. That's a t Joe Taylor for you to the sister. <laughs> yeah, he pointed at the sister. He doesn't even know her. What are you doing, bro? Oh. I'm so worried. <laughs> that's a joke for you. <laughs> oh, that, oh. oh, that's Sati. <laughs> the pressure is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So we watched, I watched this movie a long time ago and I did not remember that part. He is bold. Don't go through people's house talking like that. Oh man. That is not good. Even if it's a joke. Yeah, no, he should have stopped years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we, we never had a dinner like that. Like he doesn't tell jokes about black people. No. We have. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I, man. What? I'm sorry, like that, that. to me that's just like common sense. Like when he first said something about his grandma, I was like, what? <laughs> Why would you bring that Not up? Not the place. Tell your girlfriend on the <sighs> side, but in front of her family. Of all it's the like, foolish things to say. And you by yourself? Like, you might get in trouble. <laughs> his girlfriend's like, what things? And the dad's like, yeah, what things? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I knew judgment was on the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, he messed up. We do have jokes about stereotypes, stereotypes on white or black folks. White like, on black. If I tell her like some guy got mauled by a bear, he was he was out in the woods. She's like, oh, was he white? <laughs> <laughs> Usually, it's him saying, honey. <laughs> This guy did this, this, and that. So I guarantee you, he wasn't right. black. Like, but the thing is, I'm trying to find the outliers now because I was like, this yeah, guy, yeah. There's one. There was. I, I said, honey, this guy just straight uh, cornered an alligator with a trash can, and oh, yeah. and got it in the in the roller bin, closed it up, and rolled it down to the swamp and let it go. Mm -hmm. And I was waiting for it, and she goes, I guarantee you, that's a white guy. And I was like, watch the video. It was a black guy. I was, this guy I was, was gangster. There was another one you told me about that went to the ice, like was... Um, oh, yeah. He went to like the coldest place on earth or something. I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. I, that was another one I knew you were going to say it's a white guy. I was like, he's going up to Yakutsk or somewhere like minus 80. She's like, oh, that's a white guy. I was like, look, honey. And it's a black guy. It's like, wow, he didn't grow up around us. <laughs> He's like, he lost his card. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's jokes like that. And then one we had <laughs> uh, when we went to the hair salon. <laughs> Before we took Bella, you said, what time's the hair salon? Uh, oh, what time's the appointment? No. I, said, <laughs> I said, 10? I think it was a 10. Yeah. And you were like, <laughs> he just oh, I'm sorry, like I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had a few bad experiences with black hair. But those are your experiences. Yeah, it's usually not the like barber the shops. I don't know. I don't know if the salons are. So the same. like the first time you and I met, and I said I was getting my hair done, you did not oh, think I was. Man. <laughs> I lost my mind. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's like little stereotype. Yeah, yeah, little uh, new jokes like things. that. But that was insanity. Yeah, yeah. Marilyn, you you, you everything I'm not. Without you, I'm not whole. Day before I met you, I thought I was all that. Might have been a quarter of that. But then you left me last night. And baby, I remember how I felt to be without you. And let me tell you something. Man, I ain't shit without you. Oh, no. Thank you. And I forgot about that. Guess it's my turn. Yep. <laughs> right. Maybe I was wrong. Oh. Oh, oh, what? Dude, what are you doing? Oh man. Oh my god. First of all, I don't know if I could do that in front of all the aunties. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better. <laughs> oh, man.
That would be tough. Yes. Extremely embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> what I want to see your body go boom, boom. <laughs> I think I, I know like, that part. No, he took the song from a... <laughs> he's, he's just scraping the bottom of the yeah. barrel trying to find something. How about this? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like That was a good movie. That was yeah. a funny movie. It was. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of comedy, which is nice. I think for me, the key to the whole thing is just to understand that even if it goes rough, in the beginning, mm-hmm. if you can outlast the awkwardness, yeah, and you can just be yourself and be kind, um, be consistent. Yeah, stay, yeah. Uh, consistency over time, mm-hmm. they're gonna realize you're a good yeah. person. They're just you're just a person. You're a cool dude. Yeah. Like, I didn't start out with your dad really liking me, mm-hmm. but over time, he's like, oh, I guess he's not as bad as I thought. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. This is true. <laughs> If you enjoyed that, check out where we reacted to the movie Something New and keep Keep looking looking up.